I'm back with another Divi 5 update, and today I'm happy to announce that the Divi 5 demo website is available. Everyone can visit demo.elegantthemes.com to test it. Once we wrap up a few more features and address any bugs you find, we will release the public alpha, which you can download and test on your websites. In the meantime, we will update the demo every two weeks and you can follow along. You can also visit elegantthemes.com slash Divi5 for more information about Divi5, a link to the demo website, and a list of all my monthly Divi5 updates. You will notice that the new version of the Visual Builder is nearly finished. A few missing features include quick actions, find and replace, presets, WooCommerce modules, and some condition options. If something is missing from the demo, it's not because we removed it, it simply hasn't been added yet. This is a pre-alpha build. You will run across bugs and quirks in the interface, most of which are already on our radar. If you notice a bug, report it to our support team. We are still polishing things up and releasing this demo allows us to get the public alpha in even better shape before it goes live. Divi 5 looks a little different. Everything pretty much works the same way as Divi 4, but there are a few changes to note. Divi 5 supports multiple panels, combined panel windows, and custom docking configurations. Instead of enabling responsive editing at the option level, responsive editing is controlled at the application level. Switch to any view and the changes you make while in that view will apply automatically. Interaction modes are also different in Divi 5. Now termed interaction layers, you can select which layers of elements appear on hover, including element options, parent element options, and element outlines. Clicking any element will open its settings panel. You don't need to double click or click the gear icon. All actions are available via right click, so if you want to hide everything to simplify the interface and prevent overlap, that's a viable option. It's also easier to navigate the page thanks to the docked layers panel and breadcrumbs within the settings panel. Divi 5 is way faster, which you will notice immediately. Furthermore, it won't get bogged down with large complex designs. Try clicking around, duplicating things quickly, and going crazy with different settings and you'll see just how fast it is. The Divi 5 interface is more streamlined. It's smaller and more efficient, it's snappier and devoid of unneeded animations and effects. It lacks the antiquated save and cancel buttons in each panel. It also comes with a dark mode. You may feel at home in Divi 4's larger, slower, more playful design, but once you get used to Divi 5, you'll appreciate its new strengths. All that said, the most critical changes in Divi 5 are the things you can't see the new foundation behind the scenes that makes Divi more capable from a development perspective, empowering our team and the community to build new features that weren't possible in Divi 4. Once we release Divi 5, the real fun begins because we'll sprint forward, creating all the features we know you want. Trust me, we know you need many essential features. Loop Builder, Flexbox and CSS grids, improved accessibility, more modules, better menu and header options. It's all on our radar, and I can't wait to get over this hurdle so that we can get to work. Next up, let me give you our monthly progress report. We continued to polish the new interface and extended those improvements to other areas of Divi, giving the Theme Builder, Theme Options, Role Editor, and the Divi Library a fresh coat of paint. We continued our bug fixing mission, fixing an additional 100 bugs and whittling down the list to something manageable. We wrapped up global colors and most of layers view and started working on some remaining front end features, including dynamic assets and static CSS file generation. We also plugged in Divi Cloud to the new version of the Divi library, bringing over our small Divi AI slash cloud team to implement those features and help get Divi 5 across the finish line a little faster. That's all for this month's update. Check out the demo and let us know what you think. Just remember that it's a pre-alpha build and we still have things to improve, bugs to fix, and features to add. That said, we welcome your feedback even at this stage. That's what the alpha and beta phases are for, and we'll all work together to ensure the final version of Divi 5 is perfect. Don't forget to follow and subscribe so you never miss a Divi 5 progress report, and I'll see you in the next one.